Council last year had a good interview with some of the owners of Ember and they've got a lot more models or a few more models this year. Take another look around because I uh, kind of like the overlanding theme. Let's get you on wide mode here. Ember 26RB, uh, all Asdell, and we're going to go in inside real quick. So this one has a huge bathroom. That's a good three foot, of, it's the same depth as the shower, so this, the storage is, you know, three foot at least. Nice shower, nice shower head. Porcelain platinum. Is this? Yeah, it's a, this is a porcelain toilet. Hey there. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, I was impressed last year, and I think they, we, I thought it was awesome. We had a brief talk about it. Um, putting a desk or something in, but they had an outdoor kitchen. I've seen video of a new Ember that uh, has some other stuff here. Ooh, look at that. Let's go behind these. Just came in. There's two doors on this one. Holy potato chips, Batman. Look at this thing. Shut the front door. And there's your control panel down there. Okay, so you got a slide on this guy. On a couch. Wow. Two seats that recline. And this one's got not real deep storage there. There's your TV. Electric fire. I think we've got 12 volt doors. 12 volt. Yeah, somebody will not open the refrigerator. Hang on, there's a dog wrapped around. There's a dog that, hang on. We've got a dog that's wrapped around me here. All right, so nice, that's all. I mean, that's practically a residential size fridge. Dometic uh, cooktop just like mine. An actual oven, mine's a fake one. It's got a drawer, deep storage, soft shut, shut on that. Deep storage. Soft shut, boy. Look at that, there's a lot of room this thing's got. All right. Bamboo, countertop extension, bamboo cutting board. Undermount. Get country style sink and into the front end bedroom. So, again, you've got the uh, beautiful skylight, Euro windows, plenty of storage in here, it looks like. Legitimate hanging, hanging length closet. Uh, looks like you've got AC or heat there. Hookups for a TV. Uh, you know, just a jacket storage. There's some nice storage here. So this actually goes in. It's got storage above. I thought the control panel was a safe when I first opened it in the other end of the camper. This is nice. Got a second door on it. Again, Ember, I think this one, definitely this is full-time capable and it's off-road-ish. Um, it's got a nice feel. The dog feels comfortable here. Um, and cabinets over with uh, opening. Whoops. So it's got little, it's a decent, man, there's a lot of storage in there. I'm sure there's gonna be under, man, it looks like it's accessible from the front. Pardon me, I'm on the phone. Okay, so it's got a tray that slides out. Same thing on that one, tray that slides out. They're still setting up for their show, so we're going through before they're really ready. But yeah, I like this one. So again, that's the touring edition. The 26 footer. Oh, we should probably look at some numbers, shouldn't we? Twelve hundred thirty-seven cargo. This one has more of a traditional tongue jack on it, um, but it still has the adjustable height for various vehicles. And lights spare water bottle and storage asdell this is the 20 fb ember 1442 pounds of cargo uh, minus your water tank it's front bedroom and here we go Eight, two, three, 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 three. 
fridge is right here and you come in super deep storage oh look at that I didn't look at that in the other one that may be an option there but oh, that's pretty sweet those are some nice stiff magnets so you can actually flip up all those drawers 12 volt fridge Some Dale for your head. Okay, it's locked. And couch on a slide. Looks like the sofa has kicks out. Here's your front bedroom. Again, hanging storage, overhead storage. Corner. So I knew I also got cubby storage behind the bed. And under the bed ton of storage under here it's very nice and there's the folding table whoops that goes along with it here are windows back over here you've got your sofa with the looks like it kicks out for that again your overhead storage kitchen storage Nice angled pantry. They, they're really, really creative with their space usage. Um, there's no dinette in here, but you can set up your table. Porcelain toilet. I'm not even open that up yet, but there you go. Double country kitchen, double basin sink. Just ample storage. There's a lot of storage in these. This is, uh, the slide out makes it feel extra roomy. But a slide out is still a hole in the side of your camper. But I do like these embers. They are pretty special. So I'm looking at the 20F beads, one of their touring editions. More setup for the road than off road. It's three steps in, so it's up pretty high. Not a Murphy bed. We actually looked at this one, didn't we? But anyway. Twenty-one MRK. Twelve hundred pounds of cargo. And front Murphy. Here's a nice sofa. Slide out. Oh, look at this kitchen. Alright. Tons of storage. If you're in fireplace. Look at the countertop in this. This is impressive. Heard me the noise out back. They're looking to set up. They've got a power problem at their booth. They don't have some. Here's your commode room. It's got a pocket door on it. Ginormo Furion 12 volt fridge. That's residential size right there. Oh, and the dog's trying to leave. Sorry, let's try it again. Tons of storage. I like this. This is nice. This is a touring edition. Tons of room, tons of counter space. Storage is pretty decent. Storage up above the sofa. Looks like it's got recliners on it. Yeah. Yeah, they just like it. Like them a lot. Dry weight 5680, uh, max weight 6995. That's not bad at all. Yeah. Uh, air conditioner change on the Overlands went to the Truma Venta. You like that better? Mm -hmm. Does that work better off of uh, yeah, like solar so off of um, uh, converters? Not quite, but almost cuts in half the amp draw on startup. Oh yeah. From a conventional. Yeah, I know all about unit. that from killing my killing Plus, my generator. If you remember from last year, we used the Truma Combi. Uh, yeah water heater furnace yep and that has a control uh, pad on the end of the cabinet here so what's great about the event is it ties in with that same thermostat yeah and then the air conditioning unit also has a uh, remote nice yeah so we like it it's low profile it's very energy efficient 
Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. I saw a video on that. So that looks kind of cool. Yeah, there's all kinds of flexibility there. I don't know if you noticed, there's a retractable screen. Yeah, I there. saw that. There's a screen on the door. So if you use it for like a home office or something like that. Yeah. You can have a nice screen. Yeah. Or just extra storage. Yep. If you don't have extra people. Yep. After I walked into this one and I was like, man, I wish this was an office. And uh, so what they've done is they've gone, this is still a bunk or a bunkhouse, but these will release i don't want to mess with it but these will release and you can use half or the whole thing and it's their proprietary rack system they've come up with still have your back entrance so i could slide a canoe or bikes or something in there uh, there's a screen there for hella ventilation and furion this has the truma systems in it really nice fridge 12 volt really nice freezer I don't know if this had the slide last year. Bathroom's still real big, still same design, corner cabinet. Plenty of storage, there's a lot of room. Angled commode, uh, so you're not banging anything with your shoulders or knees. My bathroom and my camper as well as, you know, barely fits a person in there. So I got two sides of access. There's sofa, table on the front. Murphy bed, table on the front. This is uh, under 7,000 pounds be right at my max turn capacity but it would uh, definitely be full-time full-time capable here this unit has been winterized oh, there's your purple stuff in the sink. that's a nice deep sink yeah I like I just like them I really like their innovations and just like yesteryear this is probably as far as overland capable campers this is probably my favorite now the doors open and this vent this uh, side door is open where the kitchen used to be and uh, buku air flowing through here without the euro windows open on this side or the skylight open so this would be my this would be my camper uh, if i could grab something i'd probably get one of these guys for a look around the outside here double axle or single axle option on these two it still has their unique front stabilizing jack adjustable hitch storage Independent suspension, wheeler, independently suspended, Wrangler wheels, the axle, this one's got these off-road axles, and good stabilizing, nice wide Lippert steps, storage, and the other color over here is their Touring, so more road-centered, uh, we'll look at those, but I'm back over here at the off-roady guys. There's the bunk system, the back end opens up. Two sofas, come on dog. Small slide out. I don't know if this slid out last year or not. Sink, so this one's a little shorter. Teddy bear bunk series. So here's your two bunks. Again, similar bathroom. Pretty much a, a, just a couple foot shorter version of the one we were just in. Little less storage. It'd be a good family weekend tripper here. 12 volt fridge. They've gone to Truma on everything. Um, remote for the air conditioner. Let your light in. Again, with both these doors open and a breeze, it's really comfortable in here. If you get that QR, QR code 17. Murphy bed. Bathroom in the back. Again, hanging storage back there for clothes. Aqua view shower. Nice. Hey everybody, it's Media Day, 2023 Tampa RV Super Show. Woohoo!